Good morning, everyone. This is Deborah. If you are new to my channel, then you would know I'm getting ready to have a major operation in just a couple of days. And uh, I just went over everything with my doctor and told him to give me anti-nausea before, during, and after. Because that's the only headache I get. I said, do everything you did before. He told me to take it easy. If he only knew what I had done two days ago, I walked 2.7 miles up a mountain, incline, like this, straight up at Watkins Glen State Park with my brother and my grandniece. And uh, I was able to function fine that night and the next morning, you know, because I always lead off with my good leg. That's how I was able to climb the mountain go off with your good leg yeah, a bad leg follows behind so uh, I had a wonderful time with my brother and his family oh my god it was one of the best there was no fighting and no no cussing everybody was in a good mood it was just glorious and I am grateful that I did go I was going to back out because the pain was so bad when I told my doctor that I had to work the next two days, he looked at me like, what? I go, yeah, I gotta work the next two days. I can't let my boss down. I said, I can't miss too much work because I need the money. And I am putting my house up for sale uh, this week, definitely. I have to, I can't keep on like I am. So, yeah, the golf cart, I had to sell my golf cart. So that money is going to like, be gone in the next two or three weeks so I have I have to sell my house so uh, let's see what else yeah I drove up here with no problem so I uh, guess I'll hit the road all right bye everyone doctors for the last visit I'll have with him before the surgery and then in two days I have to go get a COVID test and once that test is done I can't be around anyone I have to quarantine I think that would be a horrible thing to get the COVID-19 in the middle of surgery right so um uh, stupid camera. Okay. Just playing with my necklace. Alright, I got back from New York and it was one of the best vacations I've ever had. There were no fights. Nobody went missing. Uh, I think it was just wonderful. Everyone, I just left the dentist and my implant screw broke off. And he said, when did this happen? I said, it happened last night. I was chewing a piece of gum and the whole thing just lifted off. He said, the screw broke off. And he said, he found it very hard to believe that it happened last night because my skin's already growed over the hole in my mouth. And one night, I told him I was a fast healer. I've always known that. Um, so he would have to laser, use a laser to cut my gums, which has already grown over in one night. And then he has to drill out the broken part of the screw. And then he couldn't even do anything anyway because he has to order the screw. Crazy, crazy stuff. So I had to pay him $99 just to tell me all that. Yeah. But he said, there's no pain because there's no tooth there. You know what I mean? There's no tooth there. So, so now I got to make up the difference at work. What I just lost today, which is a whole hour and a half. So, and then in the morning, I got to get up about 6 a.m. and drive two hours. Oh, my God. I 
thought I'd go on Next Door Neighbor uh, app and see if somebody could help me. But now I just spent $99 of money that I really don't have. Oh my God, so how the hell can I pay anybody to help me straighten up my house? Because your house should be very, very clean. I have to change my sheets. They want you almost sterile when they operate on Monday. I have to take a shower. I have to start a regimen for the next three days of putting stuff in my nose, swabbing it, uh, you know, for bacteria. And then I got to drink some Ensure. I mean, it's a whole rigmarole of stuff you have to do. And they want you to sleep on clean sheets the night before your surgery. So there you go. And then they want my hair in braids, which is kind of funny, I guess, because I've always loved wearing, you know, Indian braids. No makeup. And they have to have one finger with no polish on it, I guess, to check your oxygen. So, I'm just going to leave them bare, I guess, so. Ah, uh, so I'm hungry. I'm going to have to go buy McDonald's. All right. Good morning, everyone. My remote that I used to put on the camera is somewhere still in my car. My suitcase is still in my car from my trip to New York. And something awful happened last night while I was chewing gum. My whole dental implant came out with the screw attached. Now, whenever you get ready to have surgery, the doctors are very concerned about infection. So there's like a hole in my mouth. Um, oh my God, I don't know. But I got an emergency appointment to go this morning. I can't make it to my shift. I told my manager I'll come in after my appointment. Oh my God, she must hate me. So, uh, I am very perturbed, very sad because my house is not the way I want it. And it's because life keeps throwing stuff at me, people. And in the morning, I got to get up at um, early and drive two hours one way and then two hours back and then i got two days to try to get my house the way it needs to be because once i have my surgery for my left hip replacement i won't be able to like change light bulbs or stand on a stool or whatever so i'm very overwhelmed okay um but I do have good news. My brother said he would take me to the hospital, but this is the problem. Then my car has to be stuck two hours away from my residence. And who knows how I'm going to go get that in the future. So, um, my ex-husband said, listen, just bring your car to the farm where I've lived for like 30 years and leave it there and he'll drive me. But I had told my doctor, I said, I want to stay overnight, which would be like 23 hours. So I realized I don't want to have to make my ex-husband sit or stare at me overnight. Then he's uncomfortable because he has issues uh, with his health. So, uh, so I called, put an emergency call into my doctor and I said, let me go home the same day. I don't want to spend the night. Plus that'll save me hundreds of dollars. Um, you know, yeah, because the less time you spend in the hospital, the less risk that you get an infection and the less money you have to pay out, you know? So I did get a supplement and I changed it on August the 1st. It kicks in. I think it's um, Medicare supplement N as in Nancy. I did have L. Well, I got to pay like 20 more dollars a month, but it will help immensely when it comes to surgery. Um, so, but I have to dye my hair. I just, uh, I could, my shower is clogged up. I had to unclog that today. Oh my God. And I still haven't folded all the linens from when my son, my grandson came to visit me with his girlfriend, but he did come into my uh, work yesterday and he was just filthy. He works construction now and he looks so happy. Uh, so I, uh, am not doing my YouTube like I should. I apologize. 
but I do have a lot of great videos from my uh, vacation in Seneca Lake. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's upstate New York. It's called the Finger Lakes. And it was actually uh, formed by an ice glacier. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, it, and there's a lot of fish in that lake. Oh my God, I had never had so much fun fishing in my life. My brother said that he's been fishing with a lot of people, but he had never had as much fun as he had with me. This is what I try to tell guys, uh, that I'm too much fun, if, that, if that's possible. Now, I am on plenty of fish, but let me tell you what, these guys, I tell them right in my profile, don't contact me if you're too far away. Well, of course, they all contact me. Then none of them sets a date. They just want your phone number. And this is what's happened with me so many times. When they're talking, they don't shut up. So they still don't know anything about me. So why give out my phone number, people? You know, you can set the date on these dating sites. You don't need to give them your phone number because nine times out of 10, they don't ask anything about you. They tell you all about them. So they say they want to get to know you. No, what they want to do is brag about what they've done in their life. Uh, well, if you're real successful, you don't need to brag people. So, or I will get these guys who don't say anything. So I'm sitting there going, okay, what's next? It's just a very uncomfortable feeling, guys, when, um, when the girl just wants you to set the date. You know, if you don't set the date what for a date, then why do you want her phone number? You know, I don't know. It's just, it's just bizarre. Um, so... Yeah, I put a secret word in my um, profile and only, I think, half the time duh, do the guys refer to that. That lets me know if they have read my profile. And in the profile, it says that, you know, I prefer you to have a passport. Well, because of the COVID, nobody's going anywhere anytime soon. So, you know. What can I say? My back is killing me. It just really is killing me. Uh, I pray that I can get to the dentist and then go to work. So I talked to my daughter last night. She weighs the same as me. She's 46. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's very hard for women to lose weight when they are in their late 40s and early 50s because of perimenopause. Oh, so god dang, I need to put on a pain patch. Oh, so I got to have lunch with my girlfriend from seventh grade. Uh, of course, we went to our favorite place, a Mexican restaurant. So it's very important to have a good friend. Uh, yeah. She said she might come over and make some soup for me and a crock pot and that I could eat. Uh, I hardly, like yesterday, I had a steak and cheese sandwich. I only ate maybe a fourth of it. The rest went in the trash. Uh, I don't know why I even weigh what I do because I hardly eat anything. And uh, so gonna have to get my suitcase out of my car and unload it and I gotta do tons of laundry I don't know how I'm gonna do all this people I just don't know you know and my children they're not anywhere near me they are several states away so they can't help me so I gotta get ready to go to the dentist so I'll say goodbye